What's going on, beautiful people? Welcome back to another Hawes Capital video. So we're going to go ahead and keep going with this Luna video series so we can go ahead and knock these out and get them out the way. Um, again, the only purpose of me doing this uh, Luna video series for you guys is just to make sure that we cover all the projects that we previously covered um, that were originally on what is now called the Luna Classic chain. Uh, some of them are beginning to give us some guidance as far as what the next steps are going to be. Uh, many of them have decided to go ahead and continue to rebuild on Terra 2.0. A lot of them have decided to go ahead and jump ship and find other blockchains. I just feel the right thing to do uh, would to keep everybody in the loop and give everyone the updates on what's going on. Many of you guys may be just like me and may have had funds on some of these projects. Maybe you were utilizing them for farming, for liquidity pools, borrowing and lending, whatever it may be. Um, if you have funds, I definitely think you're going to want to be up to date and know what's going on. So again, this is not a solicitation to tell anyone to go ahead and uh, stick with Luna 2.0 or to continue to invest in Luna 2.0 or anything like that. I just want to make sure everyone is aware of what's going on with current projects that you may have already been a part of um, and what type of resolutions may be coming down uh, the road for you. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump into it. The video should be fairly quick. In this video, we're going to go ahead and talk about Mars Protocol. Now, in this group, guys, I've already covered maybe three or four videos for you guys regarding Mars uh, leading up to the launch. They had a lock drop that they were doing. Uh, they had liquidity pools, the token launched. We went through staking and all kinds of different opportunities that existed on this protocol. And then the terror crash happened. So what now? Well, we are finally getting the guidance because Terra 2.0 is out and we know what's going to happen. So I'm going to go ahead and go over that. As always, guys, if you want to stay up to date, the best way to do so would be to make sure you follow their mediums, join the Discord, or just follow them on Twitter. You'll usually be up to date with everything that's going on. Um, so again, uh, this most recent article that actually just came out, uh, basically what this article is telling you guys, it's letting you know that the team is thinking about continuing possibly on developing uh, on Terra 2.0. They've already made the decision that they're going to be moving to Osmosis, uh, but they're saying that there could be a possibility to go ahead and restart um, part of the project on Terra. But for right now, it's too early. There's not enough liquidity uh, in the actual market for the new Luna token for them to go ahead and be a part of it. They don't have um, consistent price oracles. And again, them being a credit protocol, uh, it's important for them to have the, the proper price feeds if they're going to go ahead and be able to offer money market lending and credit um, in the crypto space. Uh, as far as the overall articles, just to go through and again, just to read through everything with you, um, just want to touch on the important parts. I think the most important part to be aware of is what is found at the bottom of each of the articles that's read, uh, that's written. And it just lets you know that all the information that they're coming out with are basically thoughts. Nothing in any of these medium articles has been like an official hard set, like final uh, finalized um, a vote or finalized movement. Right now, they're kind of just thinking out loud, listening to community suggestions, and trying to see what would be the next best steps. Um, as of right now, they have basically decided that osmosis would be the next best opportunity for them to move to. And again, a lot of projects are moving to the Cosmos blockchain, being that Terra Luna was already part of the IBC network. It kind of just seems like it makes more sense for many of them to go ahead and transition to some sort of project that's built on top of Cosmos. Uh, here you can see that they have already decided the first assets that they're going to go ahead uh, and decide to offer lending for are going to be Atom and Osmosis. So again, this is another project that's going to go ahead and add um, to the arsenal of what's already existing on the Cosmos blockchain. Now, they are going to be releasing new Mars tokens, and it should be a one-for-one -one based off of what the article said. And the, um, and the, the 
snapshot for these uh, tokens uh, to be released uh, have already been taken. So on May 7th and May 28th, the snapshots were taken. So if you were staking Mars, if you were in any of the liquidity pools for Mars, um, maybe you were part of the lock drop that originally happened for Mars and you're waiting to get your funds back released to you. Uh, if you had any of that going for you, you definitely looks like you may be getting an opportunity of a future airdrop when they finally launch uh, on the new chain. So just something I wanted to go ahead and highlight for you. And again, this being a credit protocol uh, and a borrowing and lending protocol, it's going to be important for them to have stable coins. UST originally was their stable coin, but we all know what happened to that. <clears throat> and it looks as if they're, they're going to be using USDC uh, based off of the Alex, uh, the Axler network. And I've seen from many of the projects that I've been looking to, it looks as if they're all starting to incorporate the USDC and it all seems like it's going to be via Axler. So definitely another project that we've already covered in the past and one that we're probably going to go ahead and retouch on just to make sure everyone is uh, comfortable with moving funds in and out and how to use the bridge, um, the Axler bridge, as far as that goes. Uh, when it comes to the actual new release of tokens, uh, the second article that they had released gives you a little bit more details on it. But once again, I posted this up here so you guys are all aware. None of the information are they're telling you is guaranteed. It could possibly change. Um, but right now, they're kind of just thinking out loud. But this is what they feel would be the best option. <clears throat> to move forward with the relaunch of Mars protocol. So the token supply looks like it's going to remain the same at a billion. Um, you know, 50% of the Mars and Mars X will go ahead and go uh, based off of snapshot one and then 50% uh, will go to X Mars holders in snapshot two. So again, based off the two snapshots, um, you should be able to receive uh, portions of your airdrop. It does look as if they're going to go ahead and do a one for one exchange. <clears throat> And we know that uh, originally part of the Terra 2.0, certain parts of it were supposed to be a one for one, but we've seen many people already complaining, um, or not complaining, but just voicing the fact that they have not received one for one based off of what their original amounts are. So again, we're going to be looking forward to see how they're going to work this out, how they're going to get everyone uh, a one for one token on the new chain when it launches. And as more information comes out, I definitely will be updating you guys in the room for this. Uh, because myself personally, <clears throat> I was a Mars staker as well. I did have Mars token staking. I had some Mars in liquidity pools. Luckily for me, I didn't have any liquidations. Um, I didn't have any loans. I mean, we all got liquidated if you own Terra and UST, but I didn't have any loans or anything out in the Red Bank or anything like that. Mostly just staking and doing liquidity pools on Astroport uh, and things of that sort. And if you were a staker like I was and you had X Mars, they do let you know how the ratio will be paid out. <clears throat> Again, all of this is subject to change, so we will stay tuned for future announcements. Uh, once again, guys, we're seeing a lot of these projects that are making moves, uh, and a lot of them that I'm going to go over, you're going to find are moving to the Osmosis Network, uh, Juno Network, couple them to the Cosmos Atom Chain. Um, and, and again, it's kind of expected as being part of IBC, you would assume that would be like the next easiest transition for them to, to make a move over to. Uh, but with that said, guys, I just wanted to go over that and cover that for you. If you were part of Mars Protocol and you happen to have had some tokens in there. <clears throat> Well, you might still happen to have some tokens on your uh, in your Terra station on the classic uh, the classic net, not the main net, but on the classic blockchain for Luna Classic. Um, be a little patient. You might see some resolution. You might be able to get some type of recovery uh, from the future airdrops. And once again, I will keep you up to date. Remember, guys. Follow the Twitters, stay on the discords with them, follow their Medium accounts. You will be up to date with everything. And if you're in this discord with me, don't worry, I'll keep you guys up to date. Uh, but with that said, a real quick video. Like I said, just wanted to go over, not a lot to talk about. There's nothing really you can do on any of these protocols uh, as they try to figure out a way to go ahead and restart themselves. Um, I hope this video is helpful, guys, and I will catch you on the next one.